no matter what the topic is, you know, let's get an understanding and, and let each other know what's up. It's always going to be love. You know, that's what you can expect, man. So what's up, y'all? This is Big Bro Ty, a.k.a. Ty Shy, and today we are talking about abortions. I do not approve of abortions. I don't want anybody that get pregnant by me to have an abortion because I feel like it's bad, you feel me? I don't want a baby to die because I'm not ready. But I will say, you know, it's different circumstances for different people. And I feel like if you are a victim of rape or if you are a victim of incest or, you know, something that is just abnormal, it's not up to me, it's not up to the local uh, politicians or the federal politicians, but I feel like it's up to that person. Everybody has like a different situation that they're going through and I think you have to decide what to do accordingly. I do think that, you know, it should be up to the, the mother and the father. And I believe just like at your own time, you gotta come to God. I feel like at your own time, you gotta decide like what choices you're gonna make in life. And if abortion is a, a choice that you're gonna make, you know what I mean? I feel like that shouldn't be somebody outside of the family's decision. I feel like that should be the person who has to do it. And I know some people are thinking like, abortion is murder. Even if you outlaw abortions, like that never stopped anybody from doing what they wanna do. So, you know, you can outlaw weed, you can outlaw liquor, you can outlaw cigarettes or sex or whatever you want, but you're just creating a black market for it. Because if people don't wanna have the baby and they wanna have an abortion, they're gonna do that. They're gonna find out a way to do that. I think that it's best to have it regulated and controlled so that people can, can do what they gotta do safely. And that's the same thing with like medical marijuana. Like if you outlaw weed, people still gonna buy weed. They've been buying weed forever. But you know, now they can go to a, a actual place that's safe and not worry about getting robbed or, you know, shot or something like that and just buy their marijuana. And it's getting tax galore, so it's helping out the community. So you gotta think about these things. Like, are you really helping or are you really hurting or creating a black market? You shouldn't be forced to have them or you shouldn't be uh, forced to not have them. I think it's about freedom, you know what I mean? And you wanna hold on to the freedom that you have. You don't wanna start regulating what people can and can't do with their body because now you're treading dangerous waters and next thing you know is, is you're gonna have to do a whole lot of other stuff that you don't wanna do. You know, when people don't believe in abortions, they, they say that those people are pro-life, but them same pro-life people don't have a problem with, you know, executing people. So I think that execution is, is murder just like abortions to me. You can't just be lukewarm with it. Like if you pro-life, be pro-life. That means like instead of giving people the death penalty, put them in, in jail for life. They already separated from society. So why are you premeditatedly murdering people? You know what I mean? And then you making a show out of it because y'all get to sit there and watch the person die. He's executed in a very specific way. That's premeditation. I think that if you're pro-life, you got to be pro-life for real. You can't just be like, oh, well, I don't want you to have abortions. But I want us to be able to go and murder so-and-so because he's crazy and he's a killer. You know, if he's separated from society, you know, put him in jail for life. And that should solve all the problems. And maybe if those people were still in jail, criminals or people that's getting locked up would not want to just continuously go to prison because they'll have to be doing time with hardened criminals. And that would make jail a very terrible place to be if those people were still alive and serving, serving time or doing life. So um, yeah, man, I just say if you pro-life, be pro-life for real, for real. And um, that's all I got for this video, man. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I don't know everything. I'm just, you know, starting a conversation for real. So, you know, if y'all got some comments, you know, I definitely want to hear what you got to say, man. Other than that, man, thank y'all for watching. Much love for y'all watching. Um, you know, I, I, my subscribers are going up. I ain't got a whole lot, whole lot, but I do appreciate the ones that have been chiming in. Um, and yeah, man, please like the videos, you know, check out my music, it's on this page as well. Um, and with that, man, be blessed. Peace.